Kenneth Cheneau joined American Express in 1981 as Director of Strategy Planning. As an innovator, focusing on partnerships and new markets, he quickly rose through the executive ranks. In 1985, he volunteered to lead the Merchandise Service Division, which was on the verge of being shut down due to anemic performance. Within two years, Cheneau was able to increase sales from $150 million to $500 million. He led this impressive turnaround by innovating within the division. He partnered with high-end suppliers to offer better merchandise, and he also more finely segmented his customers. When he marketed state-of-the-art VCRs to his young, affluent segments, the VCRs literally flew off the shelves. American Express was founded in 1850 as an express mail service. It moved into the financial services business in 1882, when it began offering money orders. By 1891, it was issuing traveler's checks. During World War I, the federal government commandeered all railway express businesses, effectively making American Express exclusively a financial services company. Fast forward to 1958 and the beginning of the modern era of American Express. In that year, it first issued the charge card, which more affluent consumers quickly embraced for travel and entertainment expenses. Over the next three decades, American Express grew into a premium brand. Because its customers were more affluent and would spend more money than holders of other credit cards, American Express could command higher fees from its merchants than Visa or MasterCard. This led to complacency at American Express, even as Visa and MasterCard gained market share. In 1990, Kenneth Cheneau was appointed head of the charge card business as a reward for successfully revitalizing the merchandise service division. Even though the card was already the primary revenue generator for American Express, Cheneau decided to innovate. Cheneau didn't think the charge card business should focus so heavily on travel and entertainment. He looked to create more partnerships and expand into different markets. By reducing the fees charged to merchants, Cheneau was able to broaden American Express's base to include Kmart and Walmart. This move brought everyday purchases into the company's revenue stream while not diminishing the brand. Cheneau's ability to diversify the revenue base was critically important to sustaining the business, especially soon after he became CEO. Cheneau was promoted to CEO of American Express in January 2001. Later that year, he had to deal with the largest crisis of his career. The headquarters of American Express was right across the street from the World Trade Center. And on September 11, 2001, 11 American Express employees who were conducting business in the towers that morning were killed. His employees were devastated by the attack and the loss of their colleagues. A week after the attack, Cheneau held a meeting for all American Express employees at Madison Square Garden. In response to their personal and professional fears, he offered them a plan for the future. He rallied the workers and they were able to weather the storm, even as travel and entertainment spending dropped by two-fifths after the attack. While this was a significant decline in revenue for the company, the impact was decreased as a result of Cheneau bringing the card to new markets and diversifying its revenue streams when he headed the charge card business. As a result of his leadership in the aftermath of the terrorist attack, American Express was able to recover. By the second half of 2002, it was growing again. The next crisis to strike the company was the bursting of the housing bubble in 2008 and the credit crunch that followed. While the company was buffeted about, Cheneau was again able to successfully guide it through the turmoil. Even as he was working to stabilize the company's finances, Cheneau was looking at American Express's long-term future. That same year, he established an open innovation fund to partner with technology innovators. This fund has since grown to $100 million 
and has resulted in partnerships with Facebook, Foursquare, and Google Wallet, among others. To support the goals of this fund, Chanel has also established American Express Ventures in Silicon Valley to identify and partner with companies developing disruptive technologies in mobile and virtual banking, including new currencies. By partnering with these companies exploring the future of money, Chanel is once again attempting to develop new markets and keep American Express at the forefront of financial innovation.